Good afternoon, everyone. It's your girl Chloe Yasmin back in the cut with another video. I got my mama in the cut with her all yes. pink. Yes, hey. ma'am, y'all. I'm so tired today, y'all. I'm not even gonna hold you guys up. I woke up so tired because I only drank a half a cup of uh, coffee and I drank some Rebel. The Rebels just do not do it for me. So I woke up this morning. I was super tired. My mom was like, it's because you're not really drinking any coffee. Mm -hmm. If you guys keep up with my videos, keep up with my videos, then you know that I had threw up my dang coffee and anytime i throw up anything i do not want to taste it again absolutely so i have not been drinking coffee so today i woke up and i felt like i had taken three shots of nyquil mm -hmm. so my mom was like you need to just try to down some type of coffee so i drank a half of a cup but i'm still a little bit tired mm -hmm. but i want to do this video and i really want to do this junk today so i'm going to do it okay so in today's video your girl is going to be doing a throwback i haven't done one of these videos in so long you guys and i used to come to this walmart to do these videos a no budget hygiene shopping body hair shopping smell good shopping type of video today yay i did not word that right but yeah we're gonna be going no budget <laughs> hygiene shopping like i said i haven't done one of these in so long but it's so much fun because i can just grab whatever the heck i want to yep. grab and i have a couple things that i'm running low on anyway so i'm like might as well just go ahead and do that so with that being said I'm not gonna hold you guys any longer. Y'all know your girl loves to smell good, so let's hop up in this store and see what we can get. I'm gonna show y'all my nails when I get up in there too, because I actually they're did some. They're so cute. They're so cute. Oh my gosh. I actually cut my cuticles and everything. I didn't use the nipper. I used like the trimmer thing because yep. I was too scared to nip them. But I'm trying to get better do. at nail care. They look pretty decent. This one is like the better nail. They look real good. Only because it was hard for me to cut my cuticles or trim them with my mm -hmm. left hand. But I did. I, I did them. You did a good job. And I'm gonna girl. go ahead and link these down below as well when I get it's done so showing y'all. If I could wear long nails, I yeah, she can't. She be like them long nails, girl. I don't know how girl, you do I it. I can't do it. I don't I know. know. Look, but she look good with them nails on. Thank you. Oh, yeah, get that baby. Get <laughs> All right, that. girl. Let's head up in this stuff. Let's go. Okay, so I had to come to the baby section. You guys already know I had to stay stocked up on my baby dove, but I see that they have a new one, sensitive skincare, melanin rich skin nourishment, and it's naturally derived, 95%. So I'm gonna go ahead and try out this baby dove. You guys already know what I use the baby dove for. It is my holy grail. Like literally I cannot use any other product because over time, each and every product I use, in the beginning it will not irritate me. I'll have no irritation. And then over time I'll just begin to get irritated. Yep. And baby dove is literally the only wash that does not irritate me at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the unscented one as well. And since it's no budget, I'm gonna grab that one, this one, and the regular rich moisture one, okay? And they all work so amazing. So if you guys are looking for a good sensitive wash to be able to use on your lady bits, Baby Dove is the best way to go hand down. So for all my mamas out there that have girls coming into puberty or they're trying to figure out like a nice soap to get their daughter, get Baby Dove. I would definitely suggest the unscented one first. That's the unscented one, my bad. This one at first. But anyway, y'all, gotta show my mama's outfit because y'all know my mama's always fly. Like, hey. when do y'all ever see my mama not fly? Like, her outfits be so cute. My bear paws. Every single time I see you, you got new shoes, new purses, new hey, outfits. It's so good. good to see it. That is good. It's so good Amen. to see it. I love to and see my it. my purse is matching it. Show her purse. Yes, I man, this is a big old purse, mama. This is a big old purse. This genre is fleeky. Okay, and it's pink and cute. And then my nails, y'all. These are my nails. I did the cuticles, okay? So cute. Thank you. I've already gotten three compliments on my nails. Actually, four because of you. But the lady in the diner, I went to a diner by myself this morning, and she was like, every time I see you, your, your nail polish is different. I'm like, yes. And then the other waiter, waitress came up to me and was like, where do you get them from? Like, they're so cute. And then I went to Starbucks this morning, didn't really like the coffee, didn't even end up drinking it. And she was like, oh my gosh, those are so cute. Like, I thought they were acrylics. I'm like, no, girl, these are press ons but they are acrylic press-ons, and that's what makes the heck of a difference. Plus, I did my cuticle, so they look so much more salon, fleeky. Anyway, these are linked down below. Yes, ma'am. Now, we can go to the regular hygiene section, but I came all the way over here to the baby section, which is like miles away from <laughs> the regular uh, body washes and stuff. But anyway, yeah, I already went over there, you guys, but it was like a little bit awkward over there, so I just decided to come over here first. But I'll just go ahead and show you guys what I have so far. So you guys know I love this. This is the only shave cream I'm able to use or shave gel that I'm able to use on my underarms and then on my lady bits. No razor bumps, no irritation, smooth shave. This right here is the only razor that I'm able to use as well on my underarms and then on my lady bits, like my intimate areas. And this is the bomb.com. Very smooth and light shave to where it doesn't irritate the skin and it doesn't give you any razor bumps or anything of the sort. And then Billy, these were online exclusive, I could have sworn, and these were all over commercials and stuff. And they have this whipped shave cream. I had to go ahead and pick it up only for the packaging. You guys know I'm not like a big fan of like trying expensive shave creams, but the packaging. And then I had to go ahead and grab the matching razor and I grabbed the coral razor so now that we've shown all that 
now we can keep on shopping. Oh Lord knows I'm looking a hot mess today. Okay, y'all, we had a whole different Walmart, you guys. We got to that Walmart. I did not like the vibe of it. Y'all know I'm big on like vibes in stores. I will walk out of a store real quick if I feel like the vibe is like weird. So I came to my Walmart that I'm comfortable in. I had only went to that Walmart because I bought my mom a mattress this morning because her mattress is causing her pain. And the mattress store was right next to that Walmart. So I was like, I'm gonna go ahead and go to this Walmart even though I do not like it. I went in there, got my baby dove. And I was just like, no, the vibe is off, so I'm about to go to my Walmart. But anyway, y'all see me holding this big old bottle of Dr. Bronner's 4-in-1 Peppermint Organic Sugar Soap, y'all. I haven't had one of these in so long. This would be my third bottle of it. I used to order it on Amazon and stuff like that. This junk is fire. It cleans your body like no other. Super rich lather, and you can also shave with it. So I love this soap. I'm going to go ahead and grab this. I've also tried the lavender one, but I used it as a hand wash, and I'm so tired of the lavender scent right now. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Like, when I use something every single day or for a while, I'll be like, I'm done. You're done. You can go. So, I'm gonna go ahead and try out this lemongrass lime one as well. I don't know. Let me smell it actually. Let me stop playing. Let me smell it because I've been buying stuff without smelling it. Uh oh. Okay. Yeah, that's not it. I'd have been so mad when I got home being irresponsible, not smelling stuff. That's not it. Okay, so we got one product so far. We gotta, we gotta get it. We gotta get it popping. Thank God it. I just smelt it. <laughs> Thank the Lord. Because, <laughs> child, uh uh. What they got foot care wise? Let me look back here at this foot care. They got my world's best pumice stone. Y'all know I gotta stay stocked up on my world's best pumice stone. When they drop this, I have not gone back since. It's so affordable. How much did they be charging for it? I don't know, but it's like three bucks. This drum right here, I was telling you guys about this in one of my recent vlogs when I do my foot care. This is what I have to use. It has two sides to it. Your feet will feel like never, like no pedicure. I don't know where you, I don't care where you go. They ain't gonna do it how this do it. I heard a lot of girls are using this authentic African black soap as a shampoo, this particular this particular brand. And I guess it's like bringing back people's curls and making their curls like pop like crazy. It's like going viral on TikTok. I'm not on TikTok, but I seen a girl on Snapchat talk about it. And she said for the first time ever, her hair was actually curly when wet and she hadn't experienced that in so long. So I'm going to go ahead and try this for my hair. It might dry it out a little bit, but I'll try it. And you could also use it for shaving. It's an all-in-one. It's a body wash, facial cleanser, shampoo, hand soap, and shaving cream or whatever. I'm going to use it for shaving and then for a shampoo. I don't know about it. I don't know too much about it, but we're going to figure it out and see if it works. Vitamin E. Okay, vitamin E oil, y'all. I use vitamin E oil for my downstairs area to lift the scars. If I ever have an ingrown or if I cut myself and it leaves a scar downstairs, I mix this with Neosporin. Vitamin E oil with Neosporin literally lifts the scars like no other. And I exfoliate all the time, like every other day, every two days with my exfoliating gloves. Get hit because your girl struggled for so long with scarring, ingrown hairs, razor bumps, stuff like that. And once I got hit to my routine, which I'll go ahead and link down below, hasn't been the same. But I did not talk about the Neosporin and vitamin E trick in my intimate shaving routine. So y'all have to try that. If you're dealing with scarring and you're trying to lighten them, try out the Neosporin and vitamin E. I know I'm repeating myself, but I'm telling you guys, it's just a little hack that I found out and I am with it. Are you about to grab one too? I'll grab you one. You want to try it? I'm just trying to see what's in, what ingredients are in it because I make my own shampoo. Yeah, I know. But it's just like that particular one that everybody's been like raving about. Okay, so I yeah. Don't know. Put okay. that in there for me. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Now, I don't think I'm going to find anything in the lotion section because I have like majority of these. Girl, look what somebody did. Oh, you showed him. Look at this. Dang, somebody got beef with her. <laughs> they don't like her. Dang, dang. So we have made it into the lotion section and I have like all of these and if I do not have it, I do not like it most likely. My favorite lotion right now though, I'm telling you guys, is this Jergens Hydrating Coconut. This mixes with my chemistry so well. It just ends up smelling like perfume on me. You guys have to try this. This Jergens Hydrating Coconut. It smells so good. They also have a body wash, but it's like only on Amazon and like certain Dollar General, so I need to find it or I might just order it, but y'all know, I'm gonna go ahead and stock back up on my favorite body wash in a minute. Okay, this smells really nice. This Dove Body Love Restoring Care. This smells amazing. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. I just grabbed a shea butter one the other day, um, a Dove shea butter lotion, and I cannot wait to use it because it smells so good. I literally have tried almost every single lotion where I already have it. They got the Bag Balm here, yes ma'am. Y'all know I use Bag Balm when I get done with my foot care and my world's best pumice stone. Put a bunch of Bag Balm on, put your socks on overnight, wake up with soft feet. Girl, yes ma'am, but this one's dented. I'm gonna grab this one. I feel like it's went down in price. $7.98 for this big old thing of Bag Balm? I feel like it went up. You feel like it went up? Yes. Mom, that little baby Bag Balm that I bought from TJ Maxx was $4. Yeah, they was getting over. They was getting over. Mm -hmm. Okay, but we needed it that day, so hey. All right then. Okay. I remember being so obsessed with trying new shampoos, new conditioners, but then after I tried this Biotin Boost, 
like this biotin shampoo. Oh, but they, they double did this one. This oh, is like yeah. a tweak in the system. That's like a tweak in the system. <laughs> what the heck? Anyway, ever since I had got hit with these biotin shampoo and conditioners, I just, I just feel like no other shampoo and conditioner tops it. Like, especially for like the actual overall scent of your hair, these biotin products make your hair smell so good. But I'm gonna go ahead and try this purple shampoo, the color care conditioner, and then the purple hair mask. I'm gonna go ahead and try these out. I love the packaging. I love the gray. It matches my decor. But yeah, I don't really be seeing like many shampoos, shampoos and conditioners, especially after that whole entire lawsuit thing that Pantene were facing and. Y'all remember all that um, shampoo and conditioner cancellation on TikTok where people's hair was falling out from that certain ingredient? Girl, I, I was like, I'm straight. So, I've been sticking with like Shea Moisture, Hask. I go to Sally's and get like the top of the line curly hair stuff because, girl, I ain't taking a chance. My baby doll, girl. Okay. So, I just bought this at the other Walmart, the Coral Billy Razor. And they also have the um, razor refills here. If I like the Billy Razor, then I'll come back and get the uh, refills. But I'm so happy that they're actually carrying them in store. What the heck? Intuition Bamboo. Oh, that is so cool. They playing. That packaging looks too good, baby. It looks so good. It's so lightweight, too. Mm, 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 mm. It's not really my style, but I really do like that. Ooh, you know what? I've been meaning to like build up my deodorant collection again. At nighttime, I've actually been wearing the Advanced Care Dry Sprays, like the Dove Dry Sprays, because they're more lightweight, and they have like such stronger scents, and I love smelling the deodorant all throughout the night. I love like when you wake up. I wake up so much throughout the night, but it's nice when I wake up and I can smell myself and be like, girl, you smell good. Go back to bed. Anyway, mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm seeing here that they have a Dove dry spray in the scent Powder Soft. You guys know I love powder scents, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. They also have a vanilla and cocoa butter. Now y'all know I love cocoa butter and I also love vanilla. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the vanilla and cocoa butter spray. A cheap but amazing deodorant that I am so obsessed with that, oh my gosh, it just smells so strong and so good, is this Dove powder deodorant. I love this stuff so much, you guys. It's super strong and it actually does work and it's very affordable. I haven't used EOS shape cream in so long, so I guess I'll go ahead and grab two. These two, I haven't used it in so long, but I remember really loving their shave creams. I think it was only because of the hype, but I remember when they came out, it was Christmas Eve and I needed shave cream and I needed deodorant and my dad actually bought me. He was like, it's, it's Christmas tomorrow, like I already spent enough money. And he actually bought me the EOS shave cream, this exact one, and then the Dove Advanced Care Cucumber Cool Essentials um, deodorant. And I remember being so, 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 so grateful because I remember being like, it's the day before Christmas. He didn't really have to get it for me, but he did. And it was new, expensive, like name brand stuff. And I just felt so confident. And that's when I knew. <laughs> I knew before that. But that's when I knew that I was obsessed with hygiene. Like, I just love body care. You having a lavender spray? Show, they, show you a little lavender spray. Okay, my mom's been into lavender scents. I don't know why. I used to love lavender scents. I'm always talking about my toothpaste. Yes, ma'am. My optic white got to have it. Smart mouth. I always grab that. You guys already know about that. Gotta grab my smart mouth. Okay, now let's go to the body wash section, which is my favorite section today. Lately, my favorite section has been the uh, lotion section, but today it's the body wash section hey. i'm gonna stock up on my coconut butter scrub this is my soft soap my favorite body wash ever i'm gonna go ahead and stock up i'm gonna grab three bottles of it because this junk is the bomb it's my favorite body wash ever like i've never really loved a body wash so much okay i can't say that i have but i've never seen results like this body wash gives me for my body acne for the overall texture of my skin for my keratosis pilaris this junk is the bomb Try me one of them too i will absolutely it has been doing so well for my skin it's crazy it doesn't give me the lather that i like but the results is all i care about like okay. honestly out of all of these the most moisturizing body wash is going to be the deep moisture you sure because i'm some... sure oh i'm sure look i need some moisture it's, it's yes dry. like dove all of them are moisturizing but the deep moisture one they target that moisturizing the body and no, it's just the driest skin it's exactly like... so you want to get right, that we're gonna go see. ahead and grab that we're gonna see i'm gonna let y'all know if this do the job okay yeah. then I'm, I'm telling you. Lie, I'm gonna tell you. I ain't gonna I'm, lie. So you saying I lie then? No, no, my baby tell the truth. And I believe her because she be on, on this stuff. Yes. Yeah. So it's the bomb. It's the thickest, moisturizing, most richest lathering body wash ever. All right. Yes. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a pump too. People with sensitive skin that like if they use a washcloth, their skin starts to feel like, you know that raw burning sensation. If you have like sensitive underarms, sensitive behind, you can get that raw type of feeling. I always suggest this Dove Deep Moisture because it's so thick that it's not like rag to skin. It's like soap to skin. So it's not like irritating your skin. So can I mix these two together? Mix what? 
Oh yeah, of course I do. Actually myself, okay, I mix so them together. I mix. Yes, I okay, mix those okay. together. Yes, okay. absolutely amazing okay. for sure, for sure. Now you be talking about this Aveeno wash. It's so good. Really? I tried it. It nourishes your skin, and I just don't feel like it does. And they got a black lady on there. She get out, and her skin be looking all. Oh alive. yeah, her skin is beautiful. Ooh, yeah. child, her looking skin like is so beautiful. Just, it just didn't drink up a whole. I'm gonna tell you this right now. That's Photoshop. Off okay. rip. That's Photoshop. If okay. you see any like skincare uh, commercials, most likely their skin is Photoshopped or they have light makeup on. Yeah, all of it is unrealistic, it. but they got to sell their product. I'm really picky with all of my products. Over the years, I have found that I do not like majority of these products. And it's just Dove and that soft soul body wash that I'm obsessed with. But I'm pretty much stocked up on all of my Dove. So I have made it to the perfume section, you guys. And I'm not really going to grab anything because I'm not seeing anything. But I wanted to go ahead and talk about this perfume. If you guys are looking for an affordable perfume that lasts and smells really good and also smells expensive, try out this Juicy Couture Pretty in Purple. I'm going to go ahead and grab this pink sugar hair perfume. I don't see like a tag on it or even the cap but I used to have a bunch of these I had stocked up on them but I really do like these I like this pink sugar pink sugar hair mist it makes your hair smell super good and sweet and sugary and cotton candy like it's nice I don't really like the perfume for my body unless I'm mixing it like if I feel like a perfume is lacking sweetness and I'll mix the pink sugar perfume but this for my hair is a go okay so I came back to the original section that we were in the very first time and I've actually been into lip care a lot more because with these drying products from my dermatologist my lips have been completely dried out I don't even know how the product gets on my lips but it gets on my lips and my lips have been so chapped and cracked so I have been into lip care more and I've been buying so many cool lip care products but I'm seeing that they have some lip scrubs so I'm gonna go ahead and grab them both by Eco Lips they have a brown sugar one and then just a regular mint one I think the mint one is gonna be like my favorite but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and try these out they even have I see that they have some lip oils by Burt's Bees Burt's Bees is a pretty good brand so I'm gonna go ahead and try this sweet almond lip oil and then the passion fruit one as well I ordered the original chapstick last night I've been ordering CarMax's it's just that my lips have just been so dry okay so Walmart did not hit as much as I wanted it to so we are gonna go to Target I ended up grabbing like some notebooks for Jordan and I to do some Bible study. If you guys keep up with my videos, you know who Jordan is. If you want to know who Jordan is, watch my recent video. So I grabbed some notebooks for us so we can do some Bible study. I grabbed some highlighters because our Bible studies hit so different. When I tell you guys, like I like doing my own Bible study, but when it's two people doing it together, we read it from like separate parts of the Bible and then we get to like, um, discuss like what it might have meant and what we can take from it it's just it's so much more powerful so i love our bible study so i went ahead and grabbed us some notepad and some um highlighters because we already take notes but we keep going from different notepads to different notepads and it needs to be all in one so we know exactly where to go to get our notes so yes i'm gonna go to target see what else i can find and then i want to go to macy's and grab a perfume just to top it off because y'all know once you get done cleaning your body you get done doing everything you need to do uh, perfume uh, is the cherry baby. topper and i want to get the um green chance perfume by chanel because it has like a nice i don't know it's just it's so fresh it's so fresh and clean and i really mm. want it so we're gonna go ahead and go to target grab some more products well it looks so crazy all the purging process has started but like my mama said it's better out than in yes like it's guaranteed with these products that you have to have purge unless you're using them for like anti-aging um I'm there's so still excited. that possibility but it's guaranteed that you're gonna have a purging and that your skin's gonna get worse before it gets better. Oh, gotta, show your face, girl. Show your face. I gotta see the sun blinking on this. On sun her face. mask. Everywhere we go, she gets compliments on her mask. It's so cute. It's so <laughs> cute. It is so cute. Yes, ma'am. And we are pulling up to Target right. I'm about to take this. Y'all be driving slow. <laughs> take it, girl. Take it. Yes, ma'am. All right. And we have pulled up to Target. Let's see what the heck we can find. All these brand new Jeeps everywhere. I want a Jeep so bad. I know you do, but you're gonna have it though. Amen. Body serum? Oh my gosh, that looks super cool. But first, I actually went to like the little shaving section. And I do have to say, all this time I'm like, I don't really care about shave gels. I do have to say that my favorite one is Flamingo because I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with the scent Heavenly by Victoria's Secret. This kind of has like that kind of smell to it and I love that. And it's just like a cushiony kind of uh, shave gel. I really do enjoy that shave gel, but they came out with the ingrown spot treatment. So I'm like, girl, might as well go ahead and try it. Like, why not? And I see they have like hydrating body serum. I don't think I've ever heard what? of- Yeah, I don't think I've ever heard of anything like body serum, like lotions and creams, but a body serum. Oh my gosh. They they have three different kinds. They have hydrating, illuminating, and firming. I'm gonna do firming because, girl, all the tanning I done did, 
I need to go ahead and reverse that junk. So <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and grab this firming stuff. Even though my skin is still firm, I definitely stopped at the right time. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. But even the products that I'm using right now from my dermatologist do reverse all the aging and stuff like that. But gotta say sunscreened up because it makes my skin more sensitive to the sun. But I'm gonna go ahead and try that out. That looks super, super dope. Yes, ma'am. And I'm not really seeing too much more, but I'm super excited about that body serum. I also really love these EOS lotions. They are very, very, very thick and super moisturizing. This vanilla cashmere smells very nice. Um, the coconut waters one is actually pretty decent. I wasn't the biggest fan of the jasmine peach, but these are very thick and very moisturizing. I also love this right here. Now, I am not a fan of lavender, but this lavender scent and this Jergens body cream is so nice and it lingers on the skin. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that. I remember grabbing this sandalwood lotion and I think I gave it away. So I'm going to grab it again because I have not seen this in my collection at all. And I need to go ahead and try it because y'all know I love sandalwood scents. So, ooh, Method Body came out with lotion. Nivea came out with body souffle. Okay, they are doing it up. I'm just not the biggest fan of how method body washes smell, so I'm not even gonna try the lotion because I remember having this, and to me, it just smelled like, like I don't know, I just can't really explain it. It was just nasty to me, I don't know. But the packaging is super cute, and I'm a sucker for packaging, but with that scent, no ma'am. And then I will always love the cherry almond. The cherry almond is also super strong, very, very nice lotion. I love cherry almond. I'm gonna go ahead and, matter of fact, grab one because I don't think I have one of these in my collection. I think I went through my last bottle. Jordan was talking about this. He was like, yeah, I got this cherry stuff. It smells so good. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, it really does though. They are now carrying the black girl sunscreen in Target as well. Grab me one too. Mine is okay. almost out. Alright, so I'm gonna grab my mama one and I'm gonna go ahead and grab Jordan one. Putting them on to sunscreen. I got my mama on sunscreen. Yes. Because my whole entire life I thought I didn't need sunscreen because I'm half black. Me so too. I was like, girl, I don't need it. I got melanin. Mm -hmm. That's a dang lie. Don't let nobody tell you that. Mm -hmm. That is a dang lie. So I got Jordan on to sunscreen and this is the sunscreen that I always get him and my mama as well. This doesn't leave a white cast and it's super moisturizing and that's why it's good it's good and i used to lay out in the sun i know I used to lay out in tan. but your skin is beautiful though like your skin is beautiful we had went to this esthetician and she was like but what do you do to your skin and my mom was like uh nothing like what <laughs> nothing i mean you're young but i'm not saying like you like i know i bring chicken exactly baby. i had to i had to word it right because it yeah. would be so rude if i said it the wrong way like you ain't young either <laughs> like that sounds so wrong every single time i come here i want to pick up this um sun bum uh blonde purple shampoo because i've tried this tone enhancer and it works really good but every single time i come here the bottles look like this so i never grab it but today i'm gonna suck it up and i'm just gonna go ahead and grab it look at you holder getting yes. excited i'm gonna go ahead and suck it up and grab it because i do like sun bums products and i want to see what this can do for me so i'm grabbing purple products today y'all we'll see if my hair gets any lighter we will have to see their selection of deodorant is crazy like now that i'm coming from walmart and then coming into target their selection of deodorant is wild like they have so much like that is so cool i did used to be obsessed with this body wash though this avino one this calming body wash when i tell you guys this junk does get really soapy and it does smell good if you like lavender i have just grown out, out of the lavender phase so girl i don't really like that but it is a very very good uh body wash for sure girl i am so thankful and grateful to be in my home right now it has been one of the longest days i have had in so long you guys i have been out since the morning time i woke up first of all i was so tired because i haven't been, drink been drinking coffee so my body was like girl get it together like i told y'all i felt like i had took shots at nyquil like i was so tired it felt so weird so i get up i go to starbucks I'm not really feeling the coffee, but while I'm at Starbucks, I get some pretty bad news and I was gonna go ahead and start filming early this morning But then I got some bad news and I was just like, hey, it's gonna be okay. I cried it out. I'm having faith. Yes, ma'am Y'all know things have been really trying and really hard because I have a big blessing coming up y'all I'm not looking at this like oh my gosh My life is so like negative right now like it's so bad Honestly, it's the best it's ever been because girl, I'm rejoicing and I'm so happy that I'm running into trials and tribulations Because I know that there's a blessing at the end and I know that every single time I come out of a trial or a test my character like I just come out so much more stronger I come out w more woman like I come out every single time so much better And I'm just watching myself grow over the years like even just watching myself grow from a month ago Like from the beginning of my channel to where I am now to where I'm gonna be you guys are watching me grow I've made mistakes. I've said things that I really don't feel the same way today. But what I love about myself is that I always learn and grow from my mistakes because I do want to be successful in life and I know that I'm not going to be successful if I make a mistake and I have too much pride to admit that I was wrong. Admitting that I was wrong and fixing it and correcting it, that's me. And I love that about myself. I don't always want to, but I do it because I know that to be the best person that I am going to be, I have to be humble. Humility is important anyway. I was watching a sermon the other day actually with Jordan and it was just basically saying like, Pride is the one sin that leads to all the other sins. Like all sins lead from pride. Pride is the one thing that like all sins fall from and lead from. 
and grow from. If we're humble, everything falls in line. Because when you're humble, you love. When you're humble, you're more patient. When you're humble, you just make better decisions. And so I'm working on being humble. Anyway, girl, yes, I got my perfume. So y'all know, I told y'all I was gonna get the green one. Girl, I got up in Macy's and I smelled this one. Y'all, I love my nails. I'm about to go ahead and get another custom order made. I just put a custom order in, she's getting it done, but I have another one that I wanna get made that I wish I would have put in with the other custom order, but girl, her nails are so cute. These are the nails that did not come in the mailbox, but they just randomly got delivered one day. Yes, these are so cute. I'm gonna go ahead and link these down below. I have been getting compliments on these nails all day, y'all. I finally did my cuticles. I'm so proud of myself because I had went to Sally's and got like some cuticle stuff. I actually went to Sally's yesterday. I picked up a couple things. I picked up like little cuticle stuff. And then I also found this Biotin Dry Shampoo. It doesn't have like the same strong scent as the shampoo and conditioner, but it does work pretty good. So I got two bottles of that. I bought this coconut heat protection cream from when I blow dry my hair. Yes, ma'am. I grabbed this Mega Silk moisturizing treatment to go ahead and uh, treat my hair when I get done washing it and then I grab this cleansing conditioner okay because I need to get back into co-washing my hair but when I tell y'all I have never been a dry shampoo girl I always felt like I didn't need dry shampoo because I was mixed and I was like you know it's not really for my hair type girl that is so not true I've been using the so de janeiro one and then I've also been trying this one the past two times and it works so good in my wash days when I tell y'all like my actual hair I don't have to wash it as much my hair has been in my dang head like this for like a week and three days and I don't have to wash it well I'm probably gonna have to soon but that's really long for me this is the lotion I was telling you guys about that I bought the other day when I was at Myers. oh my gosh this stuff smells so good I cannot wait to use it I got these two notepads for Jordan and I they're matching and then I got us some highlighters and I'm pretty sure y'all are wondering like girl how long have you known him like who is he He's a friend from my church. I've known him for a while. If you guys keep up with my videos, um, actually I probably shouldn't say that because it was so long ago, like 10 months ago, I posted a vlog and I went bowling. He was in that vlog, but just like little glimpses of it, like his arm was in it and stuff like that. So he's been around for a minute. I just never considered him to be a friend because I do not consider people to be my friend. I'm not about to sit up here and call you my friend and I haven't known you, and I haven't known you for that long. So getting to know him and conversing with him and doing Bible study and reading sermons, I mean, watching sermons and just connecting through Christ I really do consider him to be a friend and I don't have friends my mom is my best friend but I actually do consider him to be a friend and y'all know I'm real strict on girl I don't have friends I don't talk to nobody but he has became a friend and so I'm definitely grateful for him as a friend for sure anyway we're gonna go ahead and end that conversation real quick okay but this is the perfume that I that I decided to go ahead and get it is the Chanel it's the pink one y'all I was gonna go ahead and get the green one but I smelled this one and I couldn't believe the smell y'all I could not believe how good it smelled like what okay I'm about to go ahead and spray it on my skin oh girl this junk smells good Whoo, child when I tell you I have been looking for a fragrance like this it's fresh it has floral notes but it has like floral notes like not floral notes like it has like floral notes oh baby if i'd have known that this smelled like this i'd have been got this oh it's fresh it's clean it's popping it's nice it's it's giving it's giving and y'all know i love to smell good it is my thing it is just like my thing like i just love smelling powerful smelling strong i mean today i kind of woke up with like a little bit of a headache because i didn't drink any coffee so i really didn't spray too much perfume but i still smell good okay yes ma'am Whoo! i just got a whiff of the perfume y'all it smells so good oh my gosh so i got her her mattress she's just feeling so happy and so blessed right now i just I hate that she had to go through what she went through with my dad for so many years. Um, I hate that for her. Like he would buy her something and be like, I bought you this or give it back to me, this and this and that. So, and the saddest part about it all is like seeing my mom with these brand new clothes on. She's about to have a brand new mattress in her nice home and her car. I'm just, I love seeing my mom like that. Like I, I'm so blessed that I'm able to do stuff like this for her because I love her so much. That's always what I, that's, that was my only goal in life was to make sure that she was okay and that she was straight more than okay and seeing her and how excited and happy she was today because you know she never had brand new stuff she always had hand-me-downs my dad would tease her about it like oh you're a rag you're in rags this and this and that and we can't afford this we can't afford that or he would get her something and be like i bought that give it back to me and so i could tell that she she felt like it was unreal that i was getting her the mattress and she's just so happy right now so grateful she was like you are spoiling me oh my gosh i'm so blessed you got me some chanel perfume you got me products you got me a brand new mattress i just feel so good i'm like I wanted to cry just watching how happy she was and just seeing her in all her new clothes and just seeing how how life has changed for her like that's all I wanted and it's just that's what I prayed for and I was watching one of my old videos I was listening to myself and I was basically saying you know we get so caught up in the future and what we want in the future and what we want to happen in the future 
that we don't realize that we're living in what we prayed for. We're, we're in what we prayed for already. So if we don't learn to be grateful right now, we're not going to be grateful for the upcoming things that are getting ready to happen because once you get that, it's more things you're going to want. It's more things you're going to need. We need to learn to be grateful right now. And it's so easy to get caught up like, oh my gosh, more, 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 more because you're in what you already prayed for. And there's more to get instead of standing right now and saying thank you jesus for where i am today and thank you for blessing me with the life that i have today because it could be so much worse there's someone out there that has so much worse than me i apologize for being ungrateful i apologize for not recognizing and realizing all that you have done and getting so caught up and getting so prideful and not realizing that i'm in what i prayed for and not realizing that each and everything that's going on good in my life is from you and not realizing that you right there Thank you, Lord. How can he continue to bless us if we're not grateful for what he's already blessed us with? But it is time for your girl to go ahead and head up out of here, y'all. I have had a day. It would be so naggy and annoying of me to go ahead and like show you guys each and everything that I bought because I've already showed you guys everything. Are you joking right now? They didn't take out the security thing. Girl, I scanned it. That was self checkout. What am I talking about? They let me walk out of, out of there like that? Okay, that's crazy. I'm gonna have to cut that off. Oh my gosh, they let me walk out of there like that. It'd be a shame if it ain't him. I'm just playing. I got all my baby doves. Okay, okay. Oh, I got some food up in here. Girl, I got me some food. I forgot I bought a salad. And I bought some spicy, uh, spicy crab rolls up in here. This sushi. God bless you all in Jesus' name. It's time for your girl to go ahead and head up out of here. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for tuning into this video. Thank you guys for supporting me, watching me, liking my video, subscribing to my channel, all of it. Because you guys are a very big help in my lifestyle today. And I love you guys so much for it. Like, I'm thanking Jesus, but I also thank you guys as well. I love y'all. Bye.